something God does not like. It's not funny. It's not funny to be fearful. I, when I wake up, I have peace. Because I know my God's protection is around me. Because I don't play in none of those little dark entities and all that kind of stuff. I don't play. I don't imitate none of it. I don't laugh about it. I don't find it funny at all. And neither does God. There was, there was, you obviously don't read your Bible. Because there was a little boy in the, in the Bible that was possessed by demons. You talk about some terror. And Jesus came and saved him. Because that little boy didn't want that. He didn't, he, I'm sure he wasn't walking around playing it and imitating it. That's when something that happened and God saved him. But when you go dabbling trying to make fun, what you do is you draw that kind of stuff. I don't draw any of that kind of stuff. I pray that none of that stuff be not in my house, not near my house, not living under my roof, none of it. That's why when grandma gets her own place, that'll be good. Because as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Nobody else. No, nothing and nobody else. No, we don't play like that. Because when you when you play with fire, you get burned. Let him run, roam around here, roam around with all these other evil people out here. I don't want none of that stuff brought to my house. That stuff you on TV. If if you see it on YouTube. No YouTube. There. No YouTube. If it's on your phone, I take your phone. If it's on a TV, you won't watch TV. Because that doesn't make any sense. God has protected me my whole life. When I was little and I was left at home by myself, I had conversations with God. I believed in Jesus and still do believe in God. You didn't hear me mentioning nothing about no wicked one because the only one I wanted my heart filled with and my soul and anything coming out of my lips is with the Lord, our God. That's it. I won't dare give the enemy any of that to even speak it out of my mouth. I won't. I didn't even say anything, so. You know what you were doing. And it's not funny. You see all, all those videos. I don't know what's wrong with people. They sit up and they play all this other kind of stuff. And they sit there and they speak that stuff out of their mouth. And they imitate it. Then when something happens, then they don't, then they call it on the Lord. When they being tormented, thrown downstairs, and have evil dreams that they can't wake up from. No, I won't have it. I love my kids too much for them to have to experience anything like that. I don't want none of that for my kids. I'd rather die than have my children go through something like that. That's how serious I am. God is going to show you this conversation. He's going to show you everything your mother was telling you. He's going to show you every disobedient moment that you've had. Because he knows your heart. So you better start getting it right. And you're not too young. you old enough to know better. Why do you think 
I want that wicked witch out of my house. Because if she had any God in her, she wouldn't walk walk around like that. We won't coming out of our, our mouths. Because the wicked one is like, hey, did somebody call me? Oh, some, oh, sound like somebody imitate me. Somebody like want to be like me. Well, let me show them what I really like. That's what the wicked one is about. You don't ever want to imitate nothing like that. Ever. Ever. Because he's full of tricks. His job is to roam this earth because God is coming back to crush him. And you know his job is? His job is to get as many souls as he can. He don't care how old they are. And God will say, when you go meet Jesus, because nobody goes through to the Father, but by the Son. So when you come and you meet Jesus and that time comes, you can't use no excuse. You can't say, nobody told me to be this way. Nobody told me. Or I didn't know. Because you know you have a God-fearing mother. You don't have no mother that's full of wickedness, that's trying to turn to the world for fortune telling and all that kind of stuff. That's not the kind of mother you have. You have a mother that trusts God and believes in God. And I want that for my kids. So when I take my last breath and I'm no longer here, I know that I have instilled in them the love of Jesus, the love of God, what his sacrifice is for us. So that when I'm not here, I will never rest. If I think my kids aren't saved, and I think if you have an accident today or tomorrow, that you may not, and, and we say we both that, that you won't be with me in heaven? No. I, could, I couldn't, I, I don't even, I can't even imagine that. I can't imagine that. A lot of those people in that school, why do you think I'm willing to pay all this money for this school? It's not because, oh, it's a school and the education. Yeah, I want you all to get into education, but I want you to be around Christian people. Godly people, people that's not all into the world. Of course, you're going to find some people that are probably only there. Their parents just sending them there for the education. But when you you all learn about the Lord, you worship God. Not in these schools where you're not allowed to pray. And they have every God other than, than the true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, I, I sacrificed. I don't mind being here spending my last dime to put you on at a school that's going to teach you Christian values. So that when I'm dead and gone, you've had a good upbringing. You learn about Jesus every day. That not one minute of your day, he's forgotten. Because every breath you have comes from God. He determines whether you wake or don't wake. And because guess what? After you leave here, it's judgment day. People think, oh, they love life. They thinking about everything else. They don't have time for God. I'm running around doing all this stuff, trying to get this stuff, have very little help. But guess what? I may not be at church, but when I go to sleep, God is I'm thinking him. When I get up, I'm thinking. When I go sit in the bathroom, I'm having a conversation with God about how wonderful he is and how he's blessed us. I'm not bringing no negativity in my space. I want the negative people out. I love grandma. I love her to death. That's my mama, you know. But I, I don't like the cards. I don't like all that stuff. I'm not into that. It's not of God. Because you're going to man for something that's God's business. The future, that's God's business. It's not for man to try to interpret what somebody's life is like or what's going on that they don't know about. Like they've been given some kind of special gift or something. There's a special place in hell for people like that. Because what they're trying to do, they're trying to say, hmm, I don't need God. I can tell you your future. And what you're telling them is, I don't need God. I can go to you. 
And God doesn't like it. And I pray all the time.